Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install 21 mode rapid fire kit from Vicious Controllers. And, alright. So, first we're going to unbag this thing here. See what's inside. So, you guys can see the little caution right there. Electrostatic sensitive devices in there, which would be the chip itself. So, be careful. All right, now I'm just gonna cut this open, see what's inside. All right. So, here you go. All right, you, you guys can see um, a business card here. Shows his, all right, shows his website and things like that. All right, you guys can see right there. And now here's some blue kinar wire, 30 gauge kinar wire. Gonna be using that in the mod chip itself. Here you're gonna see a blue resistor. That's a 10k ohm resistor. All right. And here you're gonna see a brown resistor. That's a 220 ohm resistor. All right. You're gonna see the tactical switch. If you're gonna drill a hole in your controller which I would recommend and you're gonna see some LEDs there too but as you guys can see in the front sticker here the one that comes attached to the bag it tells you which is which which I appreciate saves time alright now here's what you guys are gonna need you guys are gonna need obviously a soldering iron the kit itself some solder here has some 6040 rosin core solder and you guys can pick this up by radio shack here you guys uh torx 8 security bit screwdriver you guys can buy those on ebay fairly inexpensive around two three dollars i paid this one up for about three dollars which is a bigger one which is way better all right you guys can see the security hole in the middle. All right. I would also recommend some rods and soldering flux. Pick up, pick it up at Radio Shack, and some tweezers. And you guys are gonna need a little sharp object. You guys are gonna be scraping something off on the motherboard. Here I use my little spider co bug. And you guys can see in the bottom left corner, right on top of that coil, is going to be a little diode, something like that. And if it if it if it's there, then it's going to be either a CG or a CG2, which this mod is only compatible with, I believe. All right. So put some tape on top of the buttons so they won't fall out. Makes your life impossible. I'm trying to put them back in. It just sucks. Alright, once you've taken that, just remove everything. Alright, so if you guys can see here, I have the chip in my hand. On the top left, you're going to see a little indent. Once you place that in the motherboard, that has to be on, on the bottom left. So all you really need to do is flip it. Here, I drop it. So small. So hard to grab. All right, so the pin number one is on the bottom left corner. I'm just gonna apply some flux here and tin the tips of these pins. Makes life much easier when you're trying to attach wires to it. All right. All right, once you're done with that, if you decide to tin the tips or pins, Alright, once you're done with that, you're going to have to bend hooks on top of that 10k ohm resistor, which would be the blue one. And just cut piece, cut a piece off both sides until it looks like that. And then you're going to want to solder each side to pin number 1 and pin number 4. Alright. Here I'm just going to apply some solder to pin number 1. 
All right. Now once you're done with that, just grab a, just grab a, around the two, three inch piece of wire, straight both sides. If it's too long, just cut a little piece off and strip it. All right. So solder it to the point shown here. It's gonna be on top of a little black piece of plastic. Fairly close to the right joystick. All right. So you're gonna grab your other resistor and you're gonna cut both pieces off, both sides off and attach wires to both sides of them. If you're having trouble with it, it's sticking to the soldering iron like I did. You can place something on top of it, nothing too heavy. Just enough from keeping it from sticking to the soldering iron, which is annoying. All right, once you're done with that, you're gonna have to solder that to pin number two. All right, once you're done with that, you're gonna move on to the bottom side of the um, fourth player LED. You guys can just flip your controller over, it makes, makes it much easier. So all you have to do is attach it to the bottom contact point of the fourth player LED this is what shows when the mod is on alright so solder keep keep the wire attached for when you're doing pin number three as you're gonna need a fairly large piece of wire and it's much better if you measure it out before you actually cut it as you do want to tuck it away from any contact Points, which would be the d-pad you don't want it interfering with that so just go around it all right so once you're soldering to these three pins you're going to want to solder to the middle one the middle one only all right if you're having trouble with it sticking try some flux if you have any if not just try to scrape it off a little it might have a little a little cover of, of some stuff that's interfering with sticking. All right, so I'm gonna do a tactical switch install. Makes makes it easier. All right, so if you're gonna do a tag switch install, you're gonna want to wait. And if you're gonna do um sync install, it would be the middle pin, which would be the middle pin of that switch of right on top of the SW10 <clears throat> all right so here I'm gonna just gonna show if you're gonna do a sync install solder it piece of wire to pin number four all right and then you're gonna want to solder piece of wire to the middle pin be careful not to bridge any of the pins as that may not you may mess it up so it's very careful because just tin the wire don't don't apply solder to it until you have it soldered to the pedal pin and then once you do don't apply too much solder or you might bridge the pins all right here I just add a little bit of solder and it once and if you're going to do a tactical switch install you might you have to get pin number six out of the way first so once again keep the whole wire intact measure it out and cut and the pin we're going to be soldering to is going to be right on top of that tp16 if you can see it right there it's going to be right on top of there and this this contact point is fairly easy to locate all right once you've got that done you can actually go and and install the tactical switch now now what you're gonna want to do is solder uh, about three and a half inch piece of wire and then you're gonna want to solder a smaller piece of wire about one and a half two inches all right and you're gonna want to place your motherboard back on it the back piece and you're gonna want to solder the large piece of wire which would be the two and a half inch three inch all right so solder that to the fourth pin if you're doing if you're going tactical switch install 
which I recommend. It's easier to scroll through the mode than I want to interfere with your sync button. And you can have the sleep mode. Alright. Now for the fifth pin, you guys can see there. You're going to have to start it to the third pin like you did in the other side. Alright. So the middle pin. Alright, as you guys saw, the middle pin. Now, this is where your knife or razor comes in. Whatever you're using. Box cutter, it doesn't matter. You're going to want to scrape off a, a layer of the, the um, black area right there. If you guys can see it and you guys want to expose some copper and tin it use some flux if you have any it makes it much easier now this is going to be the seventh pin yes seventh pin where this is where we're going to install the b button for the drop shot for the drop shot mode and what when, when, if you do scratch it off make sure to do it a little bit more on top that way it doesn't interfere with the button pressing when you when you put the the touch pad on it now if you're gonna do a sink install you would just regularly solder it to the pin shown right here all right you guys can see here this pin shown right here right next to the bottom contact point of the d-pad it's fairly easy to locate and if you're gonna do a um, tactical switch as you guys can see here I cut off a little piece right around where the where the, where the wire ends and you'll see what that's used for so you're gonna want to cut off a little piece about an inch away from from the other end of the wire in between so you connect you solder that to the eighth pin are practically done and all you have to do is solder that smaller piece of wire that you attach to the tactical switch all right here you got to see just attach the small piece of wire in between it's not that hard to do and remember always always keep applying fresh solder makes connections better all right so here I got a good connection so I'm gonna just ass assemble it back together first I'm gonna organize the wiring make sure it doesn't get any way in the way of any screws or anything like that that's one line eight your controller closed so organize the wiring or the wires and together now all right, now that we have it back together, all you would need to do to scroll through the modes is just tap on the button you chose, which would be the tactical switch or the sync button. Now, if you would like to scroll through the modes backwards, all you would need to do is hold down the left trigger and tap the button you chose. And to um to recalibrate the mod, all you would need to do is hold down the button you chose, remove the battery pack, Reinsert the battery pack Hold down the guide button until your player light is solid and remove your finger from the button and It is now calibrated Thank you guys for watching you guys can rate comment subscribe if you'd like to Alright guys